$1.5 million. No, no, non-negotiable. If she doesn't pay for it, but it's not her house, now is it? Will you shut up? I don't know. They can go live in a tent for all I care. Kids love camping. Are you closing the store? Well, they say. You do realize it's 11.53, and the sign says it closes at 12. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a customer with needs, and I need some nights. Ma'am, look, if uh, I reopen the store, it would take 20 minutes or more. I'm sorry. Let me write this down for you, OK? You have cigarettes. The store's supposed to be open. I can legally make you let me in. Well, there's another convenience store. It's just a couple blocks down. It's up until 2. OK, since you're not going to let me in, let me just say that you will be here in front of me. Good night. This has been happening to me my entire life. People just walk over me because I don't protest. I can't protest. I can't fight. I couldn't pull myself to do that. It's, it's insane. And I get no respect for it. You know, she, she gets respect, of course, with her expensive suits. She's so in charge. She's so confident. Even him, he knows who he is, what he's doing. People don't walk on him for that because, well, they don't respect it. But me, I don't do anything. I mean, nothing. And, well, no one respects a nothing. you desire to know? Well, will people ever respect me? Will I ever become anything? Does, does it matter? And will my life get any better? That's an awful lot of questions with one answer. Oh, I, I didn't mean to. Oh, no. Don't apologize for your thoughts. They are valuable things. And I never said I didn't have.
Change my fate? How could I do that? No one respects me. and then just be gone in the drop of a hat. You know, I just want someone to talk to. I want to come home to someone that cares about me. I just want to sip wine and have conversations just like everybody else. But you know, I've become the thing that I feared most, alone. And you know what? Loneliness is terrifying. And I don't know what I should do. Will you shut up? Do you know what time it is? People are trying to sleep, moron. What's your name? Abigail J. Lynch. Hmm. Well, I'm Stella, master of the face and link to the other world. What are your questions? Is there going to be a man in your life? A man? Well, so well, I'm sure the fates would love to bestow the answer you seek upon you, but um, I seem to have misplaced my crystal ball. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be the only thing misplaced. <laughs> well, that's not it. And, um, no, not there. Uh, uh, nope. Maybe? No. <laughs> not that either. upon me. I seek to help this young woman through your eye. I seek to know the fortune of this one Abigail J. Lynch. Let me be the vessel through which you channel your infinite insight. Infinite, huh? <laughs> the fates, they have revealed to me your fortune. Would you like to know what it is? Destiny is fluid. Destiny is malleable. And if you are discontented with your destiny, then only you can shape it. So 
So does that mean I'm going to have a man in my future? I've told you everything you need to know. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> You know, you and I have known each other a while now. Going on 17 years, I think. And I've grown to hate you. <sighs> when I was six, you were my world. My life revolved around music. I was a child prodigy, my parents said. I had the innate gift of music. I was talented and I was destined to go places and succeed, to become the next great musician. What a load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> it was always just you in my life, and I never had anything else. I never had time to study math or history or learn anything else that all the other kids learned. It was always just you. And after a while, it was never just about the love for music. It was, it was all the money and the fame and everything that I wanted to chase after. And you, you became the symbol for everything I disliked. I blamed you and I still do. All I know how to do is play the saxophone. I never had time to go to school. I never had time to gain any skills. Now I'm stuck in this old rut. I'm doomed to play you. Because that's all I know how. Without the love of music, I'm no longer a musician. Just a guy with a saxophone. <laughs> I have no identity. <laughs> Tips appreciated if you like the music. <laughs> Tips appreciated, miss, if, if you like the music. What's your problem? Why did you come again? Uh, I wanted to know if I would ever find, find, I don't know, myself, an identity, 
I've always been a musician, but now I'm not. Well, not really. I used to love music, and now it's just kind of faded away. I don't really have anything anymore. Well, the tarot cards will leave no inquisitions. Let's begin, shall we? Ah, this is the Emperor. He says that you dislike authority and often rebel against it. Oh, the chariot. It says that your struggles, you will get through them through the use of your hard work, not blind luck. Here we are again, you and me, back on the streets, where neither of us belong. The last year has been a mess. I tried to do the right thing, to go to school, to get an education, to become somebody. That did not go well. Everything the professor said didn't make any sense. It didn't compute in my head. On the bright side, I did learn what compute meant. <laughs> that old mystic Stella, what's her name? She, she was totally wrong. You can try your hardest, but even though you do, you might not succeed. <sighs> Excuse you. Oh, no, I'm not talking to you. Hi, sweetie. Yes, happy six-month anniversary. I know, I'm so excited. So I made reservations for it. Oh. Oh, you have work tonight? That's okay, we can choose a different one. How about tomorrow? We can have a beautiful little lunch picnic near... Business trip. Oh, well, you know what's important to you is important to me, and if you're happy, I'm happy. I'm just so glad you're mine. I love you. So you're probably wondering what happened to me. No, probably not. I'm still just a nothing. People like me are a dime a dozen. Just another washed up cashier at some stupid convenience store. And you know what? People like us are some passive nothings. We get treated so poorly and that people just need punching bags to just get their frustration out on them. And well, that just always ends up being me. But it's only that way well, because I let it happen. And I let it happen because I can't fight back. And not that I could ever do that. E even if I wanted to, would it really matter? That's why I'm still in this same situation that I've always been in. I don't do anything. And until I do, I'm just a nothing. 
and well, no one respects nothing, remember? In the end, it's not about fate or destiny. It's about the now and what you decide to do with it.